heard you tell me that pretty much after this morning, we are clear as far as rain until like next Tuesday. So the golf tournament should be up. Right. Really yeah. Well. No need to worry about any sort of rain. It is going to be quite a bit cooler than what we kind of got used to all week long. But if you ask me, it's perfect golfing weather as temperatures are going to be in the 60s really both days this weekend. So we actually really lucked out with the forecast going into thunder because we know that we could see pretty much any type of weather in mid April. We've been as hot as 87 degrees just two thunders ago. You probably remember that we've been as cold as 45 degrees. So I'd say we're perfectly in the middle of those two extremes and actually very close to the forecast that we had last year's uh, last year's thunder uh, where we hit 63 degrees. We will be one or two degrees warmer than that as we head into tomorrow, but lots of sunshine going to persist for us. So I think it'll be feeling nice and comfortable. Three o'clock in the afternoon will be in the mid 60s and then begin dropping from then on out slowly but surely by six o'clock. We're down into the lower 60s and then by the time the sun sets, that's when we're really going to start to to feel kind of that chill in the air down into the lower 50s by the time fireworks begin and likely falling to the upper 40s by the time the show ends. But obviously a big deal for the air show is going to be the cloud cover, which I don't think we'll have a whole lot of and the wind. We will have a little bit of a breeze, but I don't think it's going to be enough to limit any of that air show. So wonderful news there as well. We'll be gusting just under 20 miles per hour throughout most of the day. You will certainly feel it and especially because it's coming in from the north may cause a little bit of a chill in the air, especially as we head into the evening. But again, I don't anticipate any issues there. Also good news because I'm just full of good news today. Uh, we are going to continue to see the Ohio River water levels recede over the next 24 hours or so, though I still think that the Great Lawn is going to be a muddy mess because it has been pretty covered up for the last couple of days because of all this rain that we've had so far this month. As for our uh, Sunday, we'll be a little bit cooler in those lower 60s, but again, both days should feature a pretty good amount of sunshine. If thunder isn't your thing, there's a lot more going on. You could go to uh, racing. That's at five o'clock tomorrow evening as well. Or Alice in Derby land. Always a good time and lots going on across the city. Temperatures outside right now a lot cooler than where we were 24 hours ago, pushing 60 degrees right now at the airport. 54 in Fern Creek and the wider view showing you lots of 50s across uh, southern Indiana and then mid 50s from Springfield stretching down to Munfordville and Hodgenville. Here's your hometown forecast for today. All of us topping out in the mid 60s for us and then it'll be a chilly evening ahead falling down into the low and middle 40s. We're staying dry through the weekend and even into Monday. Monday actually looking pretty gorgeous as temperatures will climb into the upper 60s hitting the 70s temporarily for your Tuesday and again that is your next chance to see some rainfall though not going to be a washout and doesn't look to arrive until later on in the evening. We're kind of just going to steady out with those temperatures. Brooke doesn't look like we're going to see any 80s anytime soon. All right, Christina, thanks so much.